Hey, what's going on, YouTube? My name is Cool Ninja Guy. Today, I'm going to show you guys my render settings for um, Sony Vegas Pro 11. Uh, this is basically the tutorial today is on how to render with the best quality and fastest render times possible. Um, if you're asking about the background, this is Overwork, uh, an artist who I like, and I like the pink, so I made it pink. Um, let's hop into Vegas. Say all I do have right now, I just have a song, which is playing in the background, uh, thanks to Run Funk. Um, just a little top five place thing and oh, I clicked on event pan crop by accident didn't mean to do that And then I have my watermark so say I have a completed video Um, what you want to do is double click on that and say if I had another thing like my intro If I had that and wanted to include it just drag it to the end so you want to drag this to um Hold your whole clip uh, of what you want to render so then you're gonna hit file render as and once this box pops up Waiting, waiting. There we go. Render as. Um, as you'll see, I already have a preset called My Render. But what you're gonna want to do is uh, just I just chose a random template and hit Customize. So I think I chose one of the best ones on here. I think it was I think I chose AVC HD. But uh, what you want to do? Make sure you're under uh, Sony AVC slash MVC, and you want to save it as a .mp4. Um, that is the best um, compression file you're gonna get, and it should play on Mac and PC if I remember correctly so what you want to do you're gonna hit my render and then hit custom or yeah whatever it's called hit customize template uh, I renamed it my render so that way I always know which one to click um, video format keep it on ABC frame size I keep it on 1280 by 720 because that's what um, um YouTube HD is um, just leave that unchecked profile keep that at main entropy coding keep that at Quebec is the only uh, option uh, when you see frame rate, what you're going to want to do is check your clips. So let me go back really quickly, hit properties. This is a 30 frames per second. And this is, that's 29.97. So basically, if both of these are uh, 30 frames a second, I'm going to hit render as, go back to my template. I uh, usually keep it at 30 frames a second because um, I usually um, keep it that way. So then I'm going to go down to um, field order, keep that none. Pixel aspect ratio, you want square pixels, so it's one. Bit rate, uh, you want to put that at 4 million. Uh, encode automatic, then hit audio. Uh, audio format, AAC, you should click include audio unless you didn't want to have audio for some reason. Sample rate, 48,000. Bit rate, 128,000. Uh, audio encoding mode, stereo. And system, uh, see format, you can have uh, .mp4, .m2ts, or .abc. MP4 is my favorite. What you want to do if you check, you can check GPU and see if uh, your GPU is available, and which I mine actually is for once. Um, and your video rendering quality, make sure that's on best. And use project settings for 3D. I don't know why you'd be using 3D, man, that's a little, it's a little uh, different. But um, So that's basically it for that. Once you do that, you hit OK and then you just hit render. Um, that's really about it, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the tutorial, uh, please hit that like button below, subscribe button up top uh, if that helped you out, and um, I hope you guys can render good from now on. So make sure you, you go back to your t t thing and hit the save button. So it saves your um, thingamabobber, and then you're good. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Cool Ninja Guy, and I'm out. Adios.